Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about a new subtopic in chapter 3 periodic table called periodicity. The first periodic trend we're going to look at is radius or the size of the atom. So we could divide this radius trend into three cases. First is atomic radius, second is ionic radius and the last one going to be the isoelectronic species radius. For atomic radius, we'll go through the trend across the period, down a group, and across the first row of transition elements. First, across a period, the atomic radius decreases because we are moving within a shell, and each element on the right has one more proton in the nucleus than the one in the left. So we could say, across a period, Increasing proton number will also increase the effective nuclear charge. So this is the most important point for discussing the trend across a period. So don't forget to include this as part of your discussions. And then this will result in stronger electromagnetic attractions between the nucleus and also the valence electrons, which then will make the radius shrink. So the element in the far right of the period 1 will have the smallest atomic radius due to the strongest electromagnetic nucleus valence electron attraction that results in distance from the nucleus to be the closest. Next is trend when going down a group. So down a group, atomic radius of an element is expected to increase due to increasing number of shell. So in period 1, we have 1 shell, period 2, we have 2 shell, period 3, we have 3 shell, and so forth. So our explanations regarding this trend will start by mentioning by having more shell, obviously the number of electrons will increase. So by having more electrons means the shielding effect will also increase. So what does this shielding effect really mean? Shielding effect is an effect caused by the inner electrons which will shield the nucleus and also valence electron attractions to be weakened from time to time. Since the nucleus attractions towards valence in electron decreases, means the distance between electrons and nucleus will also increase, resulting bigger radii down a group. Element that is located at the bottom of this period 1 will have the largest atomic radii due to weakest electromagnetic nucleus valence electron attractions that results in existence from the nucleus the fathers. Lastly, is the atomic radius across the first row of transitions element that is located in period 4 of the periodic table. So the trend is fairly similar to the trend across a period which suggests atomic radius consistently decrease. As for the first row of transitions element, the atomic size will show a noticeable decrease across the first 5 elements but then starts from here, there will start to remain fairly constant for the rest of a period. So what, what have caused this? So this happens due to massive electrons occupied by the 3D inner orbitals in here. So we know of all principles suggest that 4S orbital should come before 3D orbital means the, there are already electrons in 3D orbital. So, the 3D inner orbitals will shield the 4S orbital more effectively from the nucleus, even though the nuclear charge increases across the period. Hence, 4S electrons are not pulled closer, making the size remain fairly unchanged. Apart from knowing atomic radius trend, you also need to know how to explain the ionic radius. So ionic radius is a little different. Electrons repel each other, so by adding more electrons will make the atom bigger. So to explain the trend, you need to compare the ion to be formed to their parent atom. First, you need to take out the electronic configurations for both parent atom and ion like this. So 
for example we have this chlorine to become chlorine minus then take out the electronic configurations of 3s23p5 to become 3s23p6 then make a storyline of the process you have to explain specifically if they already provide you with the species so we'll start by first telling the type of ion to be formed and what should be done so since we could see we need another one electrons to form these octet configurations means you have to emphasize to form cl minus one electron is added from the outer shell to the 3p orbital in here once that one electron is added to 3p orbital so we need to expect that electron cloud to be expanded and once the electron cloud expanded the repulsions between electron is also increases then what happened to the nucleus valence electron attractions so the attractions of nucleus towards the remaining electrons becomes weaker and lastly will affect the size of chlorine ion to become bigger than the Cl atom as you can see from these illustrations. Taking one electron out from the parent atom will make the ion smaller. For example, we have this sodium to become sodium ion. So sodium atom with configurations of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1 in order to achieve stability of octet configurations, we need to remove one electron from the outer 3s orbital to form this sodium ion with configurations of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So, by removing electron will result in the shrink of electron cloud. So, we have this one electron to be removed, so the electron cloud will shrink, Electron cloud shrink means there will be decrease in electron-electron repulsions. Once the electron-electron repulsion decrease, means the nucleus valence electron attractions become stronger. Because they are stronger, means the size of sodium ion is smaller than sodium atom. In short, the ionic size decreases across a period but increases significantly from cation to an ion in here so from these illustrations we could see these ions have the same electronic configurations while these ions have the same electronic configurations even though they are located in the same period but they have different electronic configurations so same electronic configurations will have their radii decrease as the atomic number increases across a period by applying the knowledge of ionic radius, we're going to apply it to understand the trend of isoelectronic species. Isoelectronic species are groups of atoms or ions which have the same electronic configurations. As long as they have the same electronic configurations, whether we mix up the periods to compare the trend, there won't be any problem. Let's see the isoelectronic species trend across period 3 since we already looked at the ionic radius of its element in general before this. Neutral atoms won't give us same electronic configurations of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Therefore, we need to first change these elements sodium, magnesium, aluminium and silicon to become ions. So, and A, M, G, A, L, and S, I all have partially filled 3s or 3p orbital if we look at the number of proton given. Therefore, they have the tendency to remove electrons to achieve stable octet configurations like these. We know the bigger the nuclear charge, where we could see from the number of proton axes the stronger attractions of nucleus towards remaining electrons thus the smaller the species therefore ionic radii decreases from sodium ion to magnesium ion to aluminium ion and to silicon ion the remaining element phosphorus sulfur and chlorine located in group 15 until 17 
have the, the tendency to gain electrons to achieve stable noble gas configurations of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. We know when proton number increase, stronger attractions of nucleus and outermost electron. So we need to expect that chlorine ion to be formed will have the smaller size compared to sulfur ion and also phosphorus ion. Therefore, ionic radii decreases from pre 3 minus to S2 minus to Cl minus. The trend of isoelectronic species could be explained by segment. So from this example, across period 3, there will be 3 segments. This is the first segment, second, and third. As for the first and third segments, you need to first mention who are the species involved together with their electronic configurations. So let's say we mentioned about this first segment. They are isoelectronic, so mention about the species Na+, Mg2+, Al3+, Si4+, they all got 10 electrons with the same electronic configurations of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. As for the third segment, you can also do the same. They are isoelectronic from P3- to Cl-, all together 18 electrons with electronic configurations up until 3p6. Next, you need to tell how other species will be affected by the trend across a period. So, moving from sodium ion to silicon ion, the number of protons increase as well as its effective nuclear charge. So, the trend is pretty similar to across a period for atomic size. And then, what will happen to their nucleus electron attractions? So the nucleus electron attractions become stronger as you across this period for both state for both segment. And lastly, the trend in isoelectronic species. So size of ion is expected to decrease from Na plus to Si4 plus. Same goes to P3 minus to Cl minus. We could see there is a great jump between cation and anion formed in this period. So this great jump is caused by the increased number of shell indicates higher energy as we know the electronic configurations in cation and anions here differs by one shell as I4 plus got only 10 electrons, P3 minus got 18 electrons. So when the number of shell increase, the electron-electron repulsion caused by the inner orbital also increase. So that's why the attractions of outer electrons and nu the nucleus are shielded effectively, hence the size increases rapidly. That's all for the first part of 3.2 periodicity discussing about radius or the size of atom. In the upcoming videos, we're going to discuss about the other periodic trends such as ionization energy and electronegativity. Thank you!